My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. You didn't like that? Oh, my God, that's so hot. And so wet. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with me? <laughs> Anyways, uh, the video that I wanted to do today pertains to that of um, PC. PC gaming, man. PC, the master raced, uh, the PC elitist culture, you know, um, and also talking about the console peasantry that exists going on. So just in case you guys don't know, right? I've been playing, I've probably been playing the most PC gaming I've ever done in life. Like, I've, this is hands down the most I've ever been like a part of the uh, PC culture, if you will. And um, seeing what is dubbed the master race, you know, so, uh, so what this video is going to be about is, um... PC gaming through my eyes, you know, P, no, 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 PC gaming through the eyes of a console peasant, you know, they say that us console peasants can't see past 30 FPS, you know, and I grew up, if you guys don't know, I literally grew up with a, with a controller in hand, like, as soon as I shot outside of my mama's womb, she said I had a dual shock controller connected to my hand so i grew up with a controller in hand like that's what i know that's what i've become accustomed to a controller is literally an extension of my body i just like when you put a controller in my hand i know what to do with it one of the most common misconceptions about pc gaming that comes from console players is that I mean, I would get PC, but I got to spend all this money. Like, I think a lot of console players are kind of, I don't know if intimidated is the word from, you know, of PC gaming. Because a lot of, pe a lot of people think that you got to spend like $10,000 plus <laughs> to like get into PC and really have a good PC to play games. That's really not the case. And I was kind of like that too. Like, I was kind of intimidated of pc games i didn't really know where to start i'm not the most tech savvy guy out there you know so i was kind of like where the freak do i eat what where do i even start and pc gaming really is getting cheaper by the day i would know because i spent like a good what five to six years with a trash pre-built pc <laughs> and, and that's one thing i know some people because they don't really know how to like some people will just don't know how to build a PC, you know, from scratch. And that's why a lot of people just go out and buy like a, you know, a pre-built PC. And that's what I did, you know, but I messed up because if you buy a pre-built PC, if it's not really good in the long run, you're going to end up spending more money anyways, because you have to buy better parts. So right now I got the uh, RX uh, 480 in my uh pc which is a pretty decent uh graphics card i got it on a sale at the time it was like 226 dollars really i think the graphics card and maybe the cpu are the most expensive things about pc the graphics card again that varies because if you want the best graphics card you know it's going to vary the uh, prices and you know the cpu and stuff like that those I think are the two most expensive things about PC gaming. Some things that I do like about PC gaming. Let's start off with, with the stuff I like and then the things that, you know, I'm trying to adjust to, I guess. Gatorade. Hurry up and grab one. <laughs> I feel like I'm sponsored. No, but, uh, so of course, first off, of course, games look better 
and they perform better on on PC. I don't think you need to be a rocket scientist to know that games will always look better and perform better on PC unless they literally start making these consoles like freaking super power PCs, which you're you're, you're kind of starting to see, you know, with you know with the PS4 Pro and now Xbox Scorpio, they're really trying to make these consoles like as powerful as they can possibly be. But even then. PCs are always going to be more powerful than consoles, and I think people just need to come to that real, <laughs> to, to that real, to that real realization. Games are much cheaper, much cheaper on PC. <laughs> like hands down, games are so much more cheaper, and that's real one thing I didn't really know until just like you know recently. Because again, I'm really just starting, like really getting into PC gaming. Games are so much more cheaper on PC as opposed to consoles, bro. Like, especially, you know, I ain't even talking about the Steam sales. Sucker, when that junk go down, <laughs> Lord have mercy. I ain't even talking about the Steam sales, just in general. Games are much cheaper on PCs than consoles. You know, almost with every freaking game that comes out on consoles, if, if it's not a, like an indie title or something, you're gonna pay 60 plus dollars. And on PC, like, I mean, you still do that, but there's other alternatives, and I'm not talking about no pirate. <laughs> I got to suck it. I, I, I am not um our 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 me captain. I no, nah, I I don't do none of that. <laughs> I know a lot of people do do that, but no, nah, no. Nah, but there, I mean, from G, you know, from G two A to uh, C D key prices, there's other ways to like get games for cheaper. On PC, and that's just a fact, dude. Games are so much more cheaper on PC, and I love it, dude. <laughs> and, and again, when the Steam sales come, and then like all those deals come, man, the the you will end up spending money on games that you didn't even that you that you really didn't even plan on buying, but because it was so cheap, you was like, I gotta buy it. <laughs> you ain't gotta pay for no god dang online service. You ain't gotta worry about no Xbox Live membership. You ain't gotta worry about no PSN, no PS Plus, and then getting these trash behind free free games each month, and then they just advertise it like, you know, like it's the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> like, you don't have to worry about paying for an online membership to play games online you know if you got steam or whatever like you you just like bam you're playing online you don't have to you know pay for an online service on pc the the, the only thing i will say you know with xbox live and psn is i don't know it, it just seems more of a social thing because when you're playing games online on PC, I mean, yeah, you got Steam and stuff like that, but it just doesn't, it just feels like people are just doing their own thing. When you're on Xbox Live or PSN, you just, in my opinion, you just feel more connected to the people that, you know, you have on your friends list on, on a Steam. I mean, yeah, you can still talk to them, but you just don't feel like as connected or something like that. I also love how upgrades, and again, I, I, I think that's why a lot of console people are uh, kind of scared of getting into PC because, quite frankly, it can be scary going inside of your PC and you don't know what to do. <laughs> like you don't know what that is. You don't know what that. You don't know what that button there does. Like trust me. Like when I upgraded my PC, like maybe what was it? Like maybe two or three months ago. So I could, when I upgraded that that I was like, <laughs> I freaking open the PC. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> what is this stuff so but luckily i had a friend that had a lot of experience with upgrading a pc so he helped me through it. and it's really not that hard based on the upgrades you know you get and the amount of money that you want to spend like you're set you don't have to upgrade your pc every freaking year like i i, I think that's another common misconception with pc you don't have to upgrade your pc like every time something comes out and there's another thing that I'm starting to get used to on PC because when I bought my RX uh, four, uh, when I bought my RX four eighty, legit. As soon as I upgraded that junk, like two weeks later, I think they came out with the RX five eighty. I was like, <laughs> "Oh, are you kidding me? I just bought this junk." But you know that that's that's something 
that I've been told happens a lot on PC. Like, you'll buy one graphics card here, and then, like, the next month they come out with the next one. It's just like, <laughs> you know, but you don't have to make those upgrades. Like, you can pretty much, based on the amount of money you, wanna, you want to spend, you can essentially you like set your pc up for the future you know and um you know kind of future proof your pc um up until this very moment uh i still personally prefer controllers suck it i've been I, I i've had a controller in my hand for too long to just like get used to mouse and keyboard like that i'm i'm, I'm getting used to it though mouse and keyboard for some people it's a quick transition and they and it just becomes like bam <laughs> and, and they can just do it for me i'm kind of it, it, it's it's a transition that it is not really difficult but it's just you know how when you play with a controller and it just feels natural like it's an extension of your arms you know and it's just like you don't even have you like you you like you don't you, you don't even have to look at what you're doing with pc I've always, and even before I got into PC gaming, like, when I type on keyboards, sometimes I always have to, like, not always, but sometimes I have to look at, like, what letters, like, I'm pressing because I'm not one of those people to where I'm on PC and, I, and, and I'm typing something. I can just be like, <laughs> like, I, 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 I'm not like that. Like, I sometimes have to look at the keyboard and be like, T <laughs> K O P like I I mean I don't always have to look at it every second but I'm not that I I, I say it's a transition because mouse the mouse is so accurate on PC I'm talking about any 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 slight movement <laughs> like you're moving it so it's it's kind of it, 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 it kind of, I, I guess it's based on, you know, the person again, but it kind of takes you a while to get used to how accurate the mouse is because wherever you move, that's where that mouse is going to aim. So it, it's kind of been a transition for me because I'm not really used to that. And I'm, I'm just used to having both of my hands on one thing and like, you know, just pressing stuff here. But with mouse and keyboard, you got one hand on your keyboard and one hand on your mouse. So the lack of exclusives, dude, listen, these, <laughs> these PC elitists can tell you what they want, but nah, suck it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Nah. Don't let any PC dude tell you that PC got better exclusive than console. <laughs> there, is, there, there is no way. No. <laughs> no way, bro. And that's why I think I will always, even though I'm really starting to enjoy PC gaming, I think that is why I will always own a console. I just personally think when it comes to exclusives, that you can only get on consoles. It could be on that Nintendo Switch, that Jesus Box One, or that Greatness Awaits Station Four. PC can't come close. I don't care what no one say. You can't tell me nothing. There, there, there is no debate in my opinion. That is one of the weakest, uh, you know, uh, well, glaring issues that I see with PC. Just. The lack of exclusives compared to uh, consoles. So I think that could get better, uh, hopefully. But again, with freaking Xbox, these suckers got like all their exclusives going to PC. So it's just like Xbox, what are you doing? Like now, I now now I can get the exclusives that were once just on Xbox on on PC. But when when you're talking about Nintendo or PlayStation, nah, like PC can't come close to no console exclusive. Last uh last but not least, um things that, you know, I'm kinda adjusting to or don't really like on on PC is and I think that's why a lot of console players are just content with playing on consoles, is when you run into problems you know, when you're playing PC gaming, your game crashes for, you know, whatever reason, and it gives you error code, whatever, 004, <laughs> like, I, I don't know, like, but when you, like, have issues with playing a game on PC, 
you have to do, you know, some slight research to find out how to fix that problem. And on consoles, it's just like, you know, bam, your game might crash, but then it'll say stuff like, do uh, you want to send data to uh, Sony to, to uh, you know, you know, whatever to just report on this issue? But bam, then you could just start that jump right back up and like nothing happens. They were saying um, when I got on Counter-Strike, it like it says something like I had Xbox game DVR installed and because of that my game might have frame rate issues and I'm like when did I install Xbox game DVR but like it had something to do with like the Windows store that I freaking had so I like so I had to go into some setting and like disable this like freaking thing I'm just like so there is like a lot of stuff like that to where like based on the programs you have installed to your computer or something like that or like you know a uh, app or software like it, it it could possibly you know mess up a game and that's why your game might be crashing but you have to do some re some, some research on it and some people they don't want to go through all that it's just like sucker why can't i play my game <laughs> <laughs> that's my uh opinion of uh pc gaming you know uh i just thought this would be an interesting vid, you know, to see from literally a console peasant. <laughs> like, a, I am a console peasant, and even I have made that transition to the master race, you know. So, uh, but I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, video right here. Um, I'm about to head out and do some other stuff and things. But, uh, yeah, man, that's my opinion on PC gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch y'all my next one, all right? Peace.